Being an electrician is an indispensable job, which has been around for hundreds of years. Being an electrician is important enough to be categorized as an essential service. There is, however, no job without its problems. Electrical work is no exception. Some disasters can be planned for. In today's video, we want to discuss the top three electrical disasters you may encounter. We hope you enjoy the video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Here are the top three electrical disasters. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications it's on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. Number 1. Power Surges Power surges are an electrical disaster that is not usually considered dangerous, but these can end up costing you potentially thousands. Let's start by explaining what a power surge is. A power surge is the name we give to a sudden surge of power through an electrical system. Residential electrical systems are designed to only be able to handle a certain amount of electrical power, which we measure in voltage. Likewise, most appliances are only designed to accommodate a certain charge of electrical power. So, when a power surge occurs, a huge burst of power is sent through a home's electrical system and into its appliances. This sudden surge of electrical power can originate from a variety of sources. The three most common causes of power surges are lightning, power-heavy appliances, and sudden jumps in power usage. Lightning can cause power surges because the lightning can strike the house or somewhere else close by, which then transfers the electrical power to your wiring system. As for the other two reasons, any sudden jump in the amount of power usage can result in a power Power surge. So, for example, if a power-heavy appliance like a washing machine or a dishwasher is suddenly turned on, the power usage of the whole home shows an increase of power and this can result in a power surge. Likewise, when the power goes out, most people have the habit of not turning off their appliances. So when the power comes back on, all the appliances suddenly turn back on, which puts a huge strain on the power system and could potentially result in a power surge. Therefore, you can prevent it most of the time. What makes power surges so dangerous is that they can destroy your appliances hooked up to the main electrical system. Take a look around in your house and look for outlets with multiple appliances plugged in. That is where you need to focus. If you're like many people, then you may have a television, a gaming system, a computer, and a sound system all hooked up to a single outlet. Now, in a power surge, all those appliances would get fried at once. Power surges are so costly because in a single blow, they can cause thousands of dollars of damage to expensive equipment. Thankfully, they're relatively easy to protect against. You just need to get a surge protector installed. Number two, down power lines. Power lines are crucial for bringing electricity to homes all across the country, but they can also be exceedingly dangerous. Power lines can often fall down due to adverse weather or by being hit by something like a truck or car. Either way, a down power line does not lose its ability to transmit electricity except instead of transmitting electricity to other wires, it now transmits electricity to the area around the downed wire, which can result in electrocution for anybody or animal unfortunate enough to wander into the danger area. We all know the very obvious reason why downed power wires are dangerous. They can transmit huge amounts of electricity and they will almost certainly kill anyone who is unfortunate enough to be involved in a close encounter with one. One thing that makes downed power lines especially dangerous is that these situations are not well understood by the public in general. For example, a lot of people assume that the power lines continue to spark after being down. That's not true. A power line will only spark under certain conditions. Just because a power line is not sparking does not mean that it's not dangerous. The only thing you should be doing if you see a down power line is to immediately call the power company and get them to shut off the power to that line. Also, a very important lesson to teach to the family. Number three, electrical fires. Electrical fires are the kind of fires that are started due to various types of electrical malfunctions. For for example, if an appliance starts shorting out and starts sparking, then those sparks can start a fire, which would then be considered an electrical fire. Electrical fires always involve active electrical equipment. They're also extremely common with around 1 in 5 fires being considered an electrical fire. Why are they dangerous? Well, electrical fires are dangerous for two reasons. Firstly, they're difficult for smoke alarms to detect. Electrical fires tend to produce slow burning, smoldering fires, which are not picked up as quickly by many smoke alarms because there's much less smoke, of course. The second reason they're dangerous is that they cannot be put out with just any type of fire extinguisher. Electrical fires are considered Class E fires, which means that they need a specific Class E fire extinguisher to put them out. Very few people carry extinguishers in their home, and even fewer carry the type of extinguisher needed to deal with electrical fires. Therefore, most people are vulnerable to electrical fires. Prevent electrical fires in the following ways. Keep heat generating appliances unplugged when not in use. When heat producing appliances malfunction or are 
accidentally left on for an extended period of time, they can overheat and catch fire. It's safe practice to unplug kettles, curling irons, toasters, irons, and other hot appliances when you're not using them. Only use extension cords temporarily. If you need additional permanent power sources installed in your home, contact a qualified electrician. Never cut off the third prong on a power cord. The third prong, also known as the earth or ground, is there for a reason, to protect you in the event of a power surge or other electrical malfunction. Update your home's electrical system. Knob and tube wiring, aluminum wiring, and 60 amp electrical systems commonly found in older homes tend to come with a greater risk of overheating. Do not under any circumstances circumstances plug in devices with damaged power cords. If you notice that a power cord is cracked, frayed, or has come loose from its plug, you should have it repaired before plugging it in. Follow the directions that come with your appliances. Don't ignore the signs of trouble. The following signs may indicate that one of your appliances is overheating or that there's a problem with an electrical socket. Burn marks or discoloration around a socket, light switch, or light fixture. An appliance, an outlet, or a power cord feels hot to the touch. Burning smell when an item is plugged in or in use. Electrical sparks each time you plug in a device. You feel an electrical shock each time you plug in a device. A light fixture flickers even after you replace the bulb. One or all of your breakers frequently trips or your fuses regularly blow. If you notice one or more of these signs, stop using the outlet or device in question and contact an electrician right away. Also, remember to ensure as many expensive appliances or equipment as possible, and obviously your house or resident, just in case things do go badly wrong. Make sure the insurance specifies power outages and electrical fire, although any insurance company worth their salt should offer these solutions to you anyway. Double check your contract just to be sure. If you're already an electrician running your own business or just about to start and grow your own electrical business, you must learn the four critical things electrical business owners wish they had learned before they started an electrical business so you don't make the same mistake. Things. Electrician Accelerator has put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your electrical business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you'll also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals, how to stop competing on price with other electricians and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link on the description below the video. We hope you enjoy the video and learn something. Electricity can be extremely dangerous and lead to loss of life and expensive appliances and even the property in question. Do you have anything to add? Feel free to add a comment below and remember to have a look at the link provided for you. Thanks for watching the video, please kindly like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. We would love to see you back for another video. Until then, take care.